everyone and welcome back. I'm your host Lux Gamma and today we'll be continuing with Witchwood. It has been a very long time. Let me adjust the screen here. Since I have been present. Um, a lot of things happened. A lot of things changed and went down and I've moved across the country to a new location and um, that's why I haven't been around in like, I don't know, what, a month? And it's just been a very large transition. Uh, there are still things that need to be fixed and changed and set up, so no camera at this time. I'm very sorry. Um, one of the things that has changed is I've now incorporated actual, as you see here in the bottom here, uh, donation goals. My financial situation has also changed with this move. Um, and so any additional help would be greatly appreciated. I'm only going to do maybe like 200 a month to get started and uh, see how it goes from there. Any little bit helps. If you can only do a dollar, if you can only do five dollars, um, or even just like a retweet or a like on the tweets on Twitter, informing everyone that uh, you know we're going live would be greatly appreciated. I also would appreciate if again you would go to iUniverse.com and search here as a Dragon Awakening. You can pu uh, purchase a soft cover copy of my book for twenty ninety nine or an ebook I believe for six ninety nine or nine ninety nine. Would you? Please do get that from iUniverse directly that is available on Amazon, Books and Noble, and Google Play. I just get more royalties back from iUniverse. Anywho, let's continue. Now, we actually only played Witchwood on one previous stream. And ever so unfortunately, the stream cut. Uh, Oh, good morning. I trust you've made up your mind. Will you collect the souls I've asked for, or would you prefer to stay stuck in this festering swamp? All right, all right. No need to get your horns in a twist. I'll do as you ask. You haven't given me much choice. Splendid. As it happens, I can already sense the first four souls we seek. Two are in the forest, another in the swamp to the north, and the last in the fields to the south. Could you be more specific? Near a shapely stump? Perhaps inside a tree with a face? Find overgrown mushroom grove? What do I look like? A compass? Go out there and look for yourself. New chapter, The Sleeping Maiden. So, to catch you guys up, because the last stream we did for this game cut before we got to see this, um, inside this shrine, this shrine here, is, it's Striker! Hey Striker! Inside the shrine here is um, what appears to be a Sleeping Beauty-esque figure. Black hair, pale skin, red lips, there's a rose in the back. And it doesn't seem like we're like a bad guy in this scenario. The goat told us about uh, 12, 12 something. 12 souls that we had to gather in order to wake her up. And that our memory is lost because we made this deal with the goat to put her in a sleep protector. And something about some guys that were after her that weren't friendly. Anyway, so that's what's going on here. Oh, uh, that's not very nice. So that's that's what we're doing. We have to go around and, and get souls and uh, help her out. Hello, Mr. Goat. What are you doing? You're not done collecting my souls. I wish I could trowel you. Okay. Now, I have to remember buttons. Okay, so there's a couple of shroom dooms. Did we ever open this? We did open this, okay. Yeah, I have shears. I have them on me right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go back inside the hut real quick just to make sure there's nothing I'm missing. Just the cauldron. Right? Which the cauldron isn't actually interactable with, which I don't understand, but alright. Don't tote the goat! Uh, I'll do whatever I want. Tote. Tote. Cauldron is here. I'm gonna do it. 
Okay, so the sleeping maiden. Collect the four souls for the goat. Bear in the forest, ox in the fields, a leech in the swamp, snake in the forest. Okay, so there's two in the forest. There's deuce. Deuce souls in the forest. Okay, so let's go to the forest first. Because there seems to be two in this location. Oh my goodness, look at these birds. So, a goat, no, a bear, and a snake. Okay, stuff. Oh! Oh! Dryad, this tree seems particularly angry about something. Maybe everything. The weakness is, is a cinder box. Okay. So no nothing we can do about. Nothing we can do about angry little loser right there. Bait stick. Attempting the deadly morsel for meat eating critters. Useful against newts, dragonflies, and bats. Okay, hold on. Um. Spirific morsel. Let's actually do that. totem. Weakness is unknown. Very strong. Curious. Okay. Alright. That that dog do be sleeping. That's a sleeping dog. I'm gonna put this down. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god, what is that? Talks big, but is cowardly at heart. Weak for weakness, dreadful doll. Issues a rattle so intense on something it shakes us up the dust. Useful against goblins and bandits. Don't you fucking touch me! Oh my god. Into the swamp. Okay, wait, hold on, no, go back. I don't want to be here this way. Alright, little weird freaking goblin doing a goblin thing. Creeping. Is this an evil, an evil tree? <laughs> evil tree, I say. Evil tree. I don't understand why I can't just kill the squirrel myself. A me. Mario. Me and Mario. Okay, bear in the forest and the snake in the forest. So they're gonna be around here somewhere. I'll just collect things as I go. Hey, you're still here. Ah, 
Oh, maybe I need to use some of that on it? Side stirs but does not emerge. Can I lure it? I don't think this is going to work for the Photoshop. Well, if you don't want it, I will take it back, my child. Maybe I can sprinkle some powder on you. No? We're going to leave then. I forgot I had the unveiling powder. Maybe I can use that on the fairy circle thing. Quartermaster. No, he was not. Here. Oh, hello there. Sorry, I think I managed to get most of this debris off the road. Looks like you've made a fine wreck. What on earth happened with your cart? Y yes, well, you see, I was sent on a very important mission. By order of my captain. The, the bear! The bear, you say. What sort of mission? It's my job to make sure the lake shore camp is well st stocked with provisions, but most importantly, a steady supply of honey for the bear's favorite mead. I was just on my way back from the apiary when a cart full of... When a, a deer or something darted out of nowhere. Jostled my poor mule so bad she broke her bridle and ran off. My own heart nearly leapt out of my ribcage. Piled the darn cart right into the ditch she did. Now every barrel is smashed, and I can't bring myself to report back empty-handed. The bear will have my guts with garters, I'm sure of it. This bear sounds like quite a brute. Oh, you don't know the half of it. If he doesn't get his honey mead, heads will roll. Maybe you could lend me a hand. I can't very well put this broken cart back together. N no, no, nothing like that. But could you take a message to the sergeant of Lakeshaw Camp? He's a reasonable fellow. Let him know what ha happened, and maybe he can get me out of this bind. You can get to the Lakeshore camp if you follow the road to the northwest of here. I need to stay with the cart and assess the damages of the deer. Press tab to open your drink. The bear. Okay, 
bears. So the bears are the bear. The bear is the bear. And that's the swamp. That's where I was. The snake is that way. There's a house. Uh. He's still freaking out over there. Like Okay, so this is towards the snake. That's really weird. It seems there's like a house here. Right? Back up to the top, actually. Okay. I do. Hey, lady. Is that stinky dry out here? No. Stinky goblins here, though. Bad goblin! your business, Icky. Icky Groblin. So, this way? Make sure. Yeah. Yep. Dingus. Hey, what do you think y'all going? Dongus. Dingus and Dongus. Yeah. No one but us soldiers are allowed inside the lake shell camp. Get out of my way. I have urgent news of your quartermaster. I need to speak with your sergeant. Urgent. Only thing that's urgent is the line for the latrine, or if the captain hasn't had his drink. That's right. Captain Bayer is a right foul mood. You can't come in unless you want a good thrashing. The guard almost has to shout over the clattering din coming from inside the camp. You heard him. It's dangerous in there. Wouldn't have the heart to let a frail old granny like you near the beast. One guard turns to the other with a conspiratorial shrug. Yeah, but who are we to say what's good for Al? Oh, yeah, you're right. We might be convinced to uh, look the other way if we was fairly compensated. Right, fairly compensated, of course. We'd be sticking our necks out, after all. I'm not giving you shit! Fine. You carefully press three heavy gold coins into the palm of the wooden guard. There. I expect you to buy them evenly amongst yourselves. Right, one for you and two for me. What? You mean two for me and one for you? I'm the one who does all the real guarding around here. You still owe me for that game of dice you lost. You cheated me. Give me them coins. The two guards fall into fisticuffs, fisticuffs and roll into the bushes, leaving the camp. They get to the camp wider. What a bunch of losers. Oh my god, there's dead people. Oh, he's an actual bear. Sanguine fluid. No, nope, get back here. As you cautiously approach, the bear drains the last of his normal tanker and smashes it against the head of a nearby soldier, knocking the hapless man to the ground. And then I wolf him just like that. So next time I catch any of you cowards turning tail, I'll skewer you like a fish and leave your guts for the gulls. Suddenly noticing those rings gone dry, the bear bellows to the skies. 
More mead, you yelly bell of worms. More drink. Bring me my precious, delicious honey mead. Your soldiers taking cover nearby exchange nervous glances at each other, none wanting to confront the bear. There is no more honey mead. The bear wipes a strand of drool from his sacking lips, and his bleary eyes slowly focus on you. A mocking smirk splits his face as he waves at you with his great spiked mix. Say, now that's a funny looking infant, soldier. I ever tell you the time I crushed the bucket headed barbarians of the Western Mountains? You decide that now is a good time to leave the bear to his ramblings rather than make yourself an unfortunate prop in his war stories. The bear kips an angsty tankard at you as you retreat back into the camp. That's right! Go get me more mead, you good for nothing slaggard! I actually just want to get the sixth break. So. And he's making a lot of noise. And Sarah's mostly face planted by the bear's furious swipes. This one might be faking it, but he's very convincing. Can't go in there. It's the bear's tent. Okay, there's a couple of things over here I can get. Frenetic looking officer sh shouts hurried orders at whoever will listen, but most of the camp soldiers are busy cowering or knocked out cold. Man the gates! You over there! Secure the perimeter! We just need to hold out a little longer. Sir, we're running out of men. Where's that damn shipment of honey? You step over an unconscious footman to address the man in charge. I might be able to answer that question. Who the- Who let this old bat into the camp? I found your quartermaster. He's having a bit of cart trouble on the road. I'm afraid your shipment isn't going to get here anytime soon. What? Oh, curse my rusty britches. Without that honey and other supplies, we can't make the honey meat. The bear's gonna flatten the whole camp when he finds out. The camp looks half flattened already. What's all this ruckus about? Well, the bear's the greatest warrior there ever was, which is grand and all when we're fighting the enemy. But once we set up camp, he likes to use us poor sods as playthings to reenact his conquests. And the only thing the bear loves as much as fighting is drinking. Guzzles up so much honey meat, we have to brew it right here in the camp just to keep up. He points to a squat-looking device tucked near some tents, a portable brewery. Without that shipment of ingredients, I don't see how we can ever calm the bear down. He'll smash us all into paste before the sun sets. Let me take a look at this brewery of yours. If the bear is so in love with brawling and boozing, then perhaps it's about time he received a dose of his own medicine. <sighs> Determine what the brewery needs. You inspect the brass contraption. A tank here, a hopper there, the bitter smell of alcohol is infused into the well-worn metal. Despite the needlessly complicated dials of tubing, at the end of the day, the brewery is really just a fancy cauldron. This seems simple enough. I should be able to concoct just the potion for your troubles. The rattle sergeant shrugs his shoulders at you. Sure. I think it will help. You'll need to fuel the darn thing first. Our supplies are a mess, so you'll have to figure it out on your own. You open up the brewery to inspect its complicated innards. Yeah, you can have some twigs. You snap kindling into pieces and scatter it into the bottom of the compartment of the brewery. Should be fuel enough for the job. You open up the brewery to inspect its complicated innards. I need a cinder box and five jars of water. Cool. I have no clue where to get a cinder box. Absolutely none. Can I craft it? Yeah. 
rodent lard. Okay, cool. So I have a cinder box. I'm gonna need more water. Which means I need to go back to the well. And I'm also gonna need to get some more rodents. Get some. I know where to get five lines. Let's actually make some more of these. I just have to remember where in the forest the dryad was to begin with. Oh. Let's go! Okay, everyone's still here doing their thing. I'm just gonna get all 
Ich bin auch gewusst. Geh weg. With the heat of a cinder box, you set the stove chamber of the brewery alight. It will bring the tank to a roaring boil. You slosh cool, clear liquid into the brewery's main tank. Not the best base for potion brewing, but you want to preserve that honey with flavor. With the hiss of steam, the sound of boiling water, the rattling brewery is ready for the next steps in the process. Of course, you'll need honey for the meat. That quartermaster said he was coming back from the apiary in the field, so I best try there. Then I'll need a proper magical binder and a token of the bear to seal the spell. Something in this camp ought to do the trick. So honey, metamorphos metamorphosis elixir, and torn teddy bear. Okay, we can go in here now. Oh. He wants the projected talisman, so I need another one of these. Magic pace and a wicked gemstone. So I'm going to go to the swamp and the fields. I can make one of these. So now I need. Oh, let's go. Oh, look at it go. Let's go through those first. I'm half tempted to just kind of run around. Like just, just run around haphazardly, hey, whoosh, and just like gather up materials from the different locations and come back. Because I'm probably going to need something from everywhere. Come here, little buddy. wandering about aimlessly because I'm sure I'll find my way eventually. Why can't I take some honey from him? Let's get it. Cricket. Upper leg. Very nice. Oh my goodness. Vegetal farmer. Maintains a certain authority despite appearing more gourd than man. Very interesting. 
Got it. Okay, okay. Thank you. Snip it! Wander about. A natural tinker, but stubbornly refuses to read any instruction manuals. Okay. Oh, I snipped him! Oh, what? little place this is. Unusual hail day. Upon closer inspection, this mountain of hay appears to have been deliberately woven into an intri intricate wickerwork structure. You carefully pluck a single piece of straw from its center, and the whole bundle begins to swirl and unravel until a gaping vortex opens before you. A shadowed way. Oh, interesting. Need a jar. Hey, Bessie. Hey, Bessie. Moo. Hey, Bessie. What a good Bessie. Yeah, that's a milk. Got some malt off the bussy. Can I make some more of those? Take a lot. Let's let's see if we can get it free. No bussy. No bussy. No bussy. That's a lot of milk from bussy. A lot of bussy milk. Let's go in here. Cool. Now I can access this. over there. What are you doing over there? I wonder if I can catch the present. Bandits were also weak to cinder boxes. No, dreadful dolls. I have to go to the swamp for that. Oh, Mr. Turkey! Oh, why are you angry? I don't do anything. Mr. 
turkey, please. Mr. Turkey. Loggers hatches. Oh, what the hell are you? Yeah, come here. Oh, okay. So apparently my logger hatchet is not suitable for dealing with these creatures. Very unfortunate. Very strange. Avoid these absolute fucking demons. Okay, I have learned that I can sniff venoms. I don't know how that makes any fucking sense, but I can. You know, I still don't think I've actually found the ingredient I needed. I'm just kind of wandering around. <laughs> There's another pheasant over there. What did I need actually? I needed some of this. I got the milk! I do not have a dragonfly wing. I need to go to the swamp. Just let me go to the swamp. But I think I was just kind of like running around here just getting whatever ingredients I could find. Just because. Let me actually look at my map. The ox is far. No trespassing. That's right, the apiary. God, fucking turkeys. I got a lot of turkeys over here. A lot of angry, angry turkeys. Excuse me, angry turkeys! And your bees. Heidi ho, I'm afraid we're close for the season. Closed, but I need some of your honey right away. Sorry, our supply was cleaned out just a little while ago. Funny little man with a cart, you just missed him. Yes, I've met him. He's the quartermaster for the bear, but he had a bit of an accident on the road. I need to collect some more honey for Lakeshore Camp. The bear! Well, that explains why the quartermaster purchased so dang much. I heard that lumbering bully would steal the nectar from a larva if it suit him. My poor bees have already worked themselves half to death for that order, and they don't have any honey left. I wish I could do something to help. But the only honey left in the entire apiary is Her Majesty's personal reserve. Her Majesty? Why, my sweet spring flower, the jewel of my crown, the golden sun of my... Yes, yes, get on with it. My beloved queen. She's as lovely as she is wise and resides over her flowered kingdom. A shrill voice pierces the meadow and sells its chills down your spine. Slave! Where is my dinner? to bring me the finest sunflowers R right away my love and to make it pretty this time i don't want another one of your dandelion bouquets like some common wasp y yes my sweet hmm. i think i had better have an audience with this queen myself mm -hmm. yo he's a simp for some things tidy hives B. Generally, by the manner. No! I have done nothing. Oh my goodness, stop, please. The regal insect looks down her curled nose at you scornfully. That fool beekeeper is supposed to stop the rabble upon trampling my delicate garden. Good help is hard to find, isn't it? And I suppose you've come to lend a hand? No, I don't think so. What do you want, little beetle? You seem like a very busy one. So I won't waste your time. I need honey. Your best honey. She puts her long black neck and lets out a buzzing noise. <laughs> do you think I simply give my carefully cultivated riches to just any commoner? Do you have any idea how much time and energy is 
and managing this colony. Everyone always wants something, but no one ever wants to work for it. In a rustle of petals, the beekeeper comes running over, holding out an assortment of beautiful prairie flowers. My darling sweetheart, I offer you the finest meadow flowers. I hope you find these to your liking. Is this... Is this... Marigold? You wax break fool! You know I despise this one! How many times must I repeat myself? Get out of my sight! I love you! My love, I have wronged you. L let me try again. He followed the beekeeper a short distance away while he busies himself picking the flowers. She seems to be in a foul mood. She always treats you like this. Well, yes. But it's really usually my own fault. Sometimes, when she really gets her venom up, a little bit of smoke and soothing herbs calms her rays down. Smoke, you say? I'm sure I could come up with something to even out her mood. Royal incense recipe. So much stuff. Okay, so what do I need? Uh, that, the witch spice, and the sperm root potion. Okay, sperm root potion, the witch spice, and smoke powder. Perfect. Queen fans herself lightly as the world begins to push and pull all around her. Ooh, does anyone else feel a little hot? Anyways, as I say, you can't just, just. The sparkling sun bears down on the queen like a warm summer's embrace. My, look at all of these beautiful colors. Have they always been so bright? The queen bee stretches her arms across the sea of flowers, brushing the tips of their petals gleefully. She arcs her limbs through the myriad of colors swirling about her head. It's gorgeous! Oh. oh, and what's that delicious smell? Cracking into the waxen walls of her hive, the queen pulls out a golden honeycomb. She proceeds to messily stuff the honey into her face. Mm, delectable! Oh, it's so good! You simply have to try it, my dear. I've never tasted anything so delicious in my life! She offers up a sticky handful to me. Why, thank you, my queen. Take it to me. She seems half asleep, but still feasting on her. Oh, he knocked out. Um, he knocked out. A little bit too. It's over here. Flat. Okay, so I got the honey. Now I need to go to the slump. I need to go do this. My devices. Actually, let me see if I can make some of these. No, I need I need goblin snot. Yep. I need swampy things to make that. Have a good day, sir. Into the forest. I don't understand why you couldn't give me some honey. Didn't you have it on you? Okay, so I'll need to go up here. I'm having a good time, my dear. Listen here! Loser. Loser. That funny little goblin. Okay, let's see. There's a snail, there's a rotting stem. Oh my god, there's a giant insect. Oh, look at that. A bait stick. Hold on, I have one of those. Um, 
um, let's set a trap. Ew. So apparently a smoke pellet works on those things. It's called a skeeter. Very curious. Mm. Mind your business! You got a snail? I don't actually know if I can catch the insect or not, but I would like to try. Oh, gosh. I still don't have that. I'm just gonna leave it there and come back. I don't know what to do. have gone milky please come a little closer sister i don't believe we've met before why do you call me sister i don't need sight to see someone who's also signed a dark contract the woman looks blindly through you though you can sense her so you can sense her looks. contract so you've had dealings with a damnable goat too what sort of pact do you look into oh you know how she is i was young and he went no goat when i knew him Dance naked under the blood moon and raise the dead to frighten dull country folk. Ah, oh, it's got ancient history now. What the hell are y'all talking about? Old age comes for us all. I originally, you've got to hang up the sacrificial dagger and settle down to the comforts of retirement. I know the feeling. I miss my cozy chair in the fireplace. Seems like a fine spot you've got here. Well, it's not all poor season pumpernickel. She clutches wordly at the mouth even blanket in the lap. What's wild your dogs? Maybe I can help. Awful thing like to snap at your toes when you're not looking. Anyway, he twisted his ankle pretty bad, and went off to the sick house to have it looked at. Well that was a few days ago. He should have been back by now. One of these legs haven't worked right in decades. 
but can't even go to check up on him. I've been so worried. I even thought about making another contract. Don't be dead. You just play here. I'll go find him and see what the bottom is. That good so stuff. Let's get Kelsey's down the road to the west. Be careful if it is along the way. We've got a taste for blood. Oh, embalming salts, perfect. Rising body, plant growth. Wrap this lifted body in. Oh, look at this body to almost dead. It's still dead though. Growth. Weird. Don't like that. My question is, will I be able to get past the drake without actually having to deal with them? here except the day. The business. Oh, I have a bait stick actually. Here. Let me get it, my child. Oh, what's all this? Place of power, but to what end? Mind your business! You mind your business, fucking freaky. Oh, 
quite found what I'm looking at for yet. deal with you later. A dragonfly, so I literally just have to run up to it and time to interact with it. Moss growing in this massive fallen trunk that seems to recloud your touch. Curling <coughs> strange etchings on the bark below. Oh, your flutter flowing energy poof forth from the waterlogged web until an ethereal doorway opens before you. A snag one. I should be able to make that. Mm. Dragonfly wing. Mm -hmm. The only thing I haven't gotten yet. Good oh, chance, dragonflies. Mac. Okay, but now I know. You have to learn dragonflies with this. I have to use it. Grab 
Here, this have to shield you from harm. That's fine. I'm watching on Kaku as well. You laid a lot of good portion of the writhing trollic substance in the brewery. To be safe, you add a little bit more, just for texture. Gotta have that texture. brought you more honeybee. The bear swipes the tankard with its massive palm, tosses the contents into a slavering maw without hesitation. He licks his chops, savoring a peculiar flavor. With a sudden jerk, he bears down on you with suspicion. Oh my god. Say, this tastes kind of funny. What did you do, soldier? It's an, uh, a new recipe. I thought you might enjoy something with a little more sting in it. Rawr! You know I hate new things. I'll teach you to mess with my favorite brew, you hasty. Bear is upon you with frightening speed. He raises the huge mission as Paul Skyward and you brace for the impact. With an equal measure of speed, the sergeant leaps between the crashing mace and your head. You peer through your fingers as a great clang resonates, resounds through the camp. The bear roars furiously as his blow is magically repelled from the sergeant's talisman. The mace goes spinning out of his paw and falls into the lake with a great splash. He gates, dumbfounded as the sergeant stands before him completely unharmed. Ha! That'll teach you to pick on us, you big oaf! This has been a long time coming. The sergeant wags his finger at the bear. Who do you think you are, huh? You think you're so big and tough with your fancy feather hat and your big honking club? Well, look at you now. The camp soldiers gather to witness and stunned off. Miraculously, the bear seems to shrink in the face of the sergeant's onslaught. If it was up to me, you'd be dishonorably discharged for disorderly conduct. You're a disgrace to the uniform. You're no captain of mine. With fear welling up in his eyes, the bear shrinks and shrinks until he is reduced to the size of a small cat. And another thing! I... Uh, what's happening? <laughs> in place of the bear's drunken grimace is the stitched smile of a doll's grin. Two button eyes stare back at the disapproving faces surrounding the plush toy. The sergeant takes a step back to reveal the small shape of the stuffed teddy bear where the brute once stood. Your transformative potion has finally done its work. Gee, I guess I overdid it. He scratches his head in befuddlement, but seems genuinely relieved. Hey Sarge, I guess that means you're in charge now, right? Oh, yeah, I guess it does. Well, what are you all standing around for? The camp's a mess, let's get to work. <laughs> you pick up the diminutive doll and brush some sand off its fur. As you inspect it further, its head lulls to face you. Far within the glassy surface of his button eyes, you can barely make out a tiny crimson flame, the trapped soul of the bear. This ought to be what that old goat is after. I hope he's happy. Alright. Quest complete, the bear. The bear. The bear. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, that actually took- oh, hold on. Who's this guy? That actually took a lot more work and like gathering stuff that I anticipated. Um, 
and I'm thoroughly pooped, so we're gonna go ahead and end the stream here. Everyone, thank you so much for joining me for this first stream back. I know it's been a long time. Um, the schedule's gonna be a little out of place here and there while we figure some things out, and then I have to start work again. But in the meantime, please stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, eat, sleep, and drink well. Wear a mask, wash your hands, sneeze into your arm. Don't be nasty! Oh my gosh, you remembered it. Of course I did. And I will see you in the next one. Chalessa, Lilia!